Welcome back. Hit that like button and let's get right into this happy horseshit Sunday show massacre by the bulbous Chris Christie. I'm not a big fan, but he certainly holds his ground well during this fiery exchange. George said if we had aggressively armed Ukraine from the time Joe Biden got in office, if he continued the Trump policy and had continued to aggressively arm Ukraine. Continued the Trump policy. <laughs> no, 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 Trump is the one that browbeated Zelensky John, and held back John, the javelins can, that Congress had voted John, you can continue. With. And, and he still, the Ukrainians were armed. How insane is it that they're trying to blame Trump for what's happening now? We got Democrats in power, Joe Biden, a Democrat in the White House. And of course, Democrats aren't looking good going into the midterms. We have Biden himself and his plummeting approval around 36% now. If Biden were a Republican, we would see the media hammering him on this fact daily. Instead, though, we get these panels of literal Democrat Party operatives desperately trying to pass the buck to the former Republican president for what's happening now under a Democrat-controlled country with an unpopular Democrat president. And they love to talk so much about this stupid Trump-Ukraine phone call. But as Christie rightly points out, they still got their weapons. When you see all these pictures of smoldering Russian armor, you're looking at the result of Trump's policy of arming Ukraine. What you're seeing in this video is essentially a column of uh, Russian military vehicles, armored personnel carriers, other vehicles, part of that convoy that appear to have been completely destroyed by Ukrainian forces. Which would have been even better if Slow Joe hadn't ended the policy. Second, as I've pointed out many times, both times this has happened, Biden has been in the White House. Biden also withheld congressionally approved funds from Ukraine until they did what he wanted in regards to a lawyer who was investigating Burisma. A point all of these hacks gloss over never be spoken of again unless of course Christie were to bring it up but then they just have an excuse of it's different when they do it we're still getting to the best part but just give me a minute to tell you about this special offer from preparewithdronetech.com friends big dangers are all around us these days to survive what's coming you need to be prepared and self-reliant that's why i recommend getting yourself some cryptocurrency some land some gold but especially a proper stockpile of emergency food it's easier than you think. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now. And you'll save $50 and get free shipping on a generous four-week supply of emergency food from My Patriot Supply. They've served millions of people who are prepared for what's coming. This food stays fresh for up to 25 years and will be there when you need it. So do yourself a favor and go to preparewithdronetech.com where you'll save $50 and get free shipping on a four-week emergency food kit, which gives you breakfasts, lunches, dinners, drinks, and snacks, totaling over 2,000 calories a day. When things get ugly, you'll be glad you have this food kit. Don't get caught unprepared. Go to preparewithdronetech.com right now. That's preparewithdronetech.com. And he still, the Ukrainians were armed. And in January of 2021, Joe Biden stopped that policy. The same way he reversed domestic oil production policy. Just in North Dakota alone, half a million barrels a day reduced because Biden prevented us taking it out of uh, federal lands. We import half a million barrels a day from Russia. We could stop paying blood money to Russia to fund this war if we would increase domestic oil production. But that goes against the president's but, 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 but. Exactly. Like I've pointed out many times on this channel, these people have a cult-like dedication to replacing fossil fuels with reusable energy. A goal that I fully support someday when we can actually do it, but not now when we're not able to switch over because it's not yet cost effective. Or maybe it is now, I don't know. I think if it were cost effective, it would have already replaced fossil fuels. I mean, it's just simple math. Then kneecap yourself when in fact you could be energy independent. While our foreign adversaries, whom both we and our allies are right now dependent on for oil, invades our allied countries and threatens us with nukes if we get involved. How could this possibly succeed? It obviously can't but of course even though biden cut our domestic oil production that again could make us independent from russia or anyone else's oil solving all of these problems and actually making it easier to improve our reusable energy and even though he stopped sanctions on the russia Nord stream 2 pipeline 
using the relic of Jim Crow filibuster, no less. And even though Biden straight up told Putin that he could have a minor incursion, and even though Biden didn't arm Ukraine, not during the Obama years or now, but even though Biden's made all those other idiotic moves, somehow this panel of alleged nonpartisan professional journalists just scream that it's Trump's fault. The Republicans, seriously? I mean, Donald Trump tried to play a game with Mr. Mr. Zelensky. And still he armed him. He tried to play a game. And still armed and, him. And, and was impeached for it. So and, I think this president has rallied the country, rallied NATO, gotten the Germans. I mean, look look at the countries that are coming to help the Ukrainians. You think that's because of Joe Biden? Or do you yes, think it's I because, do believe no, that Joe because Biden has shown the leadership. Tanks, and while you no, may not like his it's because leadership, the, now, he has shown a lot of it's discipline It's because the tanks well. rolled into Ukraine, and that puts the Russian tanks a lot closer to Germany than they were before they did. You cannot give Joe Biden credit for that. And by the way, Joe Biden did one thing that Donald Trump didn't do. He stopped arming Ukraine. Oh! Donna Brazil, another Democrat Party operative who's most known for helping Hillary to cheat during the presidential debate. Ooh, such a trustworthy journalist. Letting Russia have that pipeline only helped Putin, and it put Germany in a position of dependence on them for oil. Germany stopped the pipeline deal now, but that only shows that it was a stupid idea to begin with. It shows that Biden was stupid, making a stupid move. Continuing on this path of quitting oil without something to replace it is making us dependent on our enemy and is in fact suicidal. George got to do two things at the same time and you should be able to. You have to ban Russian oil and you have to increase domestic production. And that is where Joe Biden's gonna have the problem because he's held captive by the environmental left. <laughs> that, what John Kerry, what John Kerry, this guy said last week, that the real tragedy of Ukraine is it's slowing our efforts on climate change. That will summarize what the far left's view is about domestic oil production. I just want to stop quickly and point out the triggered reaction from that panel when Christie told them an undeniable truth that they then tried to deny. But just like every time the left denies something, they also leap to defend it because it's not real. Just like CRT in schools. They claim it's not real, but also demand that it be allowed in the schools. Now watch the former Clinton administration stooge, George Stephanopoulos, do the same thing here. What John, <laughs> Kerry, what John <laughs> Kerry, his guy said uh. last week, that the real tragedy of Ukraine is it's slowing our efforts on climate change. That will summarize what the far left's view is about domestic oil production. Climate change, we just saw the UN report this week. It's, it is, this problem is an existential and, crisis and, and, and it's getting worse. And, 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 and that's what the nice. tragedy and, and, is in I, Ukraine. I don't think any well, of us are being what is slaughtered. The definition of that's tragedy. what Kerry is talking about. Right? <laughs> Chris Christie, you're crazy. Biden isn't bound by the far left's climate agenda. That's just a far right-wing conspiracy theory. Also, don't you know the UN report said that climate change is an existential threat? Stephanopoulos even tries to claim that climate change is a tragedy compared to Ukraine, to which Chris Christie rightly calls out this idiot, pointing out that Ukrainians are dying right now and it ain't from climate change. The panel's position is absurd from start to finish. But just look how desperate they are to absolve Biden and try to excuse his policy of national suicide for a climate cult. This far left state propaganda was sponsored by WeatherTech. Don't spend your money on people that hate you and are actively working to subvert your way of life. Instead, support channels like mine by liking, sharing, leaving a comment, or building your emergency food storage with preparewithdronetech.com. Thanks for watching.